Lucer Ecosystem. The Lucer Ecosystem is an area of forest located in the provinces of Osei and North Sumatra on the island of Sumatra in Indonesia. Covering more than 2.6 million hectares, it is one of the richest expanses of tropical rainforest in Southeast Asia and is the last place on Earth where the Sumatran elephant, rhino, tiger and orangutan are found within one area. It has one of the world's richest yet least known forest systems and its vegetation is an important source of Earth's oxygen. Geography The ecosystem stretches from the coast of the Indian Ocean to the Malacca Straits. It encompasses two vast mountain ranges, including Mount Lusa, that reaches 3,455 and two major volcanoes, three lakes, and more than nine major river systems. As well as providing habitats for a number of endangered wildlife species, the ecosystem acts as a life support for approximately four million people who live around it by providing a steady supply of water, soil fertility, flood control, climate regulation, and pest mitigation. Ecology the ecosystem is home to the largest remaining populations of the Sumatran tiger, Sumatran elephant, Sumatran rhino, and the Sumatran orangit. There are at least 130 species of mammals within the ecosystem, which means that 1 in 32 of the world's mammals are found there, or one quarter of Indonesia's mammals. Primates residing within the ecosystem include the white-handed gibbon, the siamang, macaques, the loris, and the luta. Luso is home to as many as seven species of cats, including the clouded leopard, the Asian golden cat, and the spotted linton. The sun bear is quite common within the boundaries of the ecosystem. File Tiger Melbourne JPG Sumatran Tiger File Sumatra Elephant Ragunan Z3 JPG Sumatran Elephant File Sumatran Rhino Toot JPG Sumatran Rhino File Sumatran Orangitan JPG Sumatran Orangitan The most common herbivores found in Lucer are the deer which include the sambar, the munchak and the musk deer. Among the largest reptiles found in Lucer are the turtles and tortoises. The most venomous are the snakes, which include the king cobra and pythons that can reach up to 10 metres in length. Monitor lizards, skinks, geckos and a variety of frogs are also common. At least 325 species of birds have been recorded in the ecosystem, with at least eight species endemic to Sumatra. This rich diversity of bird species includes bee-eaters, flycatchers, flowerpeckers, hannigans, kingfishers, spider hunters, woodpeckers, barbits, babas, broadbills, bubble, drombos, hornbills, magpies, menlets, mina, orioles, robins, shamas, shreks, swallows, swifts, thrushes, treepies, trarguns, wobblers, weavers, whistlers, white eyes, leafers, sunbirds, tailobirds, fantail, folktails, needletails, wagtails, doves, pigeons, quails, partridges, pheasants, skirkus, parakeets, parrots, bitterns, herons, finfoots, ducks, snipes, sandpipers, waders, falcons, hawks, nightshirts, owls, serpents, Serpent eagles, hawk eagles, fish eagles, sea eagles, and many more. The Lucer ecosystem comprises one of the remaining examples of indo malayan Malaysian vegetation communities with an estimated 45% of the approximately 10,000 recorded plant species. In general, the ecosystem can be characterised as a montane rainforest community. However, the typical vegetation type up to an altitude of 600 metres is moist tropical lowland forest characterised by multi-layered stories with emergent trees reaching between 45 and 60 metres in height and high densities of fruit tree species. The large variety of tree species found in Lucer represent virtually all life strategies of trees, from root flowering and trunk flowering to common twig flowering types. Among the most important and impressive trees are the several species of strangling fig, the largest flower on earth. The parasitic rafflesia is relatively common in the ecosystem. Recent history. As a result of the peace agreement between the Free SA Movement GAM and the central government of Indonesia, SA was awarded a significant level of autonomy over its natural resources, including the right to govern the looser ecosystem. Arwendi Yusuf, the current governor of SA, established Baden Penjalal Chaos and Ecosystem Lucer BP Kel to govern the looser ecosystem and coordinate wildlife management in SA. The local SA government has introduced a land development plan that would open up an estimated 1.2 million hectares of the forest reserves 2.6 million hectares to mining, logging and agriculture. A group of SA citizens has decided to sue the Home Ministry. Lucer is a national strategic area. Act No. 26-2007 on spatial planning has designated important conservation and areas of high biodiversity as national strategic areas. One such area is the Gunung Lucer National Park and the broader Lucer ecosystem. The area provides water to nearly 4 million people living in SA and it is of global importance to the conservation of biodiversity as well as an important status symbol of SA. Conservationist applauds the national government's tough stance on criminal activities in the national strategic areas such as Lucer. Act No. 26-2007 allow criminal charges to be brought against not only those who carry out illegal activities in the area but also to those who give permission allowing criminal activities to take place. This is an important milestone and stand to deter corrupt officials from selling permits to conduct activities could damage this sensitive ecosystem. National Spatial Planning Law ruled maximum sentence of five years imprisonment and RP 500 million fine.
The SA administration did not mention the KEL status as a national strategic area in its land use plan issued through CAN and Islamic Bailo no 19-2013. World One of the biggest threats to the looser ecosystem is the building of road networks through the forest. The expansion of roads and settlements into this area lead to increased deforestation and allows illegal logging and poaching to be undertaken with greater ease. A proposed road network known as Lady Galaska that would connect the east and west coasts of Asi and cut through the looser ecosystem in at least nine places would have a devastating effect on the area's animals, many species of which do not cross woods. The plans for the proposed road comprise of main road plus more than of minor roads, the majority of which would lie within the boundaries of the looser ecosystem. Palm oil plantations Also a major threat are palm oil plantations, particularly in an area on the west coast of Asi known as Trepper. Palm oil plantations in this area are primarily located on peat swamps up to 3 metres deep. Between 50 and 100 million tonnes of carbon is stored in the peat swamps and is released into the atmosphere as carbon dioxide when the peat is burned. Palm oil plantations clear primary forest and burn the peat swamps in order to construct large canals to facilitate the planting of palm oil. The land degradation caused by palm oil plantations and tripe compromises the welfare of local communities and destroys the habitats of a number of charismatic animal species, including the highest density of orangutans found anywhere in the world. Despite a two-year moratorium on forest clearance, Governor Arudi Yusuf issued an official permit to Oil Palm Corporation P.T. Calista Land to cut and burn the tripe peat swamp forest, endangering many rare species. These actions have spurred an international movement to save tripe. Conservation groups have aligned together in an international campaign that has resulted in historic cancellation of palm oil plantation permits. This sets a legal precedent for saving critically endangered orangutan habitat.